The School of JMS, where my creative side gets challenged every day. Where I get to do research that's interesting to me. Where I'm just a few classes shy of fulfilling my dream. The School of JMS, where I learn about public relation in a different country. Where I get to take what I've learned back to the Navy. Where I'm pushed to be a better scholar and professional. where I get to see my students transition from technicians to managers. Where I research how media affects us every day. Where I'm returning to the classroom to start my second career. The School of JMS, where I found my passion. The School of Journalism and Media Studies, where I'm perfecting my research technique. Where I get to learn how people communicate around the world. Where I'm becoming prepared to face the real world. Where I get to help prepare students for their future. Let's get started. These undergraduate students are working on a minor in learning design and technology, one of the few careers where there's more job opportunities than qualified candidates. It's a, it's a combination of different disciplines, but it's, it's really about uh, problem solving and empowering people to be smart about creating learning environments. The Learning Design and Technology program joined the School of Journalism and Media Studies in the fall of 2014. A natural fit because crafting those learning environments is all about communication. And the other thing that attracted us uh, to journalism and media studies was the uh, emphasis on social media, which is increasingly important in learning these days. But in the classroom of the future... Oh, okay, excellent. How about you, Leo? In the Learning Design and Technology graduate program... That's an interesting question about sampling. It looks much different. That's because this graduate program is totally online with students logging in from across California and beyond. And so they attend online, but they have synchronous meetings with their instructor using collaborative software. Uh, those meetings are usually weekly, and then they're in teams for many of their projects, sometimes with students who don't live geographically close to them. We did a, a job aid project, a creative job aids, something as simple as that, just for faculty. The flexibility of being able to take these online courses have really helped me. And has helped hundreds of graduates to land great paying corporate jobs at some of the most well-known companies worldwide. Telemundo, Univision, La Opinión y El Nuevo Geral. No todos los medios de comunicación en los Estados Unidos son anglohablantes. Sirviendo a 54 millones de hispanos, casi el 20% de la población de los Estados Unidos, los medios de comunicación están prosperando. Y en la Universidad de San Diego State... Ok, a ver, vamos. La iniciativa bilingüe escrita está expandiendo oportunidades más allá del habla inglés para estos jóvenes profesionales de medios de comunicación. Se trata del mundo, o sea, estás reportando lo que está pasando y si no lo reportas en otros lenguajes, ¿cómo van a saber la gente o cómo tú te vas a, vas a decir qué que anda pasando? Gracias a la Fundación de la Asociación de Relaciones Públicas de América, la iniciativa de la escritura bilingüe para los medios va más allá de solo enseñar a estudiantes a escribir una historia. En inglés, Creo que te enseñan más las, las técnicas de, um, de cómo escribir así como AP style y te está dando cuenta más de cómo los latinos ven las noticias, cómo ellos se relacionan con las noticias. Los medios de comunicación pueden ser universales, pero no todos usamos los medios de la misma manera o en el mismo idioma. Por eso la Escuela de Periodismo y Medios de Comunicación está liderando el camino en la educación bilingüe bilateral y bicultural a través de todo el espectro. Creo que hay una tendencia en, en las universidades en, en los Estados Unidos de tener programas en español porque se eh, entiende que hay una gran necesidad de satisfacer un mercado laboral 
que está pidiendo por profesionales que sepan manejar bien el español y, y creo que es importante que San Diego State University sea parte de esa tendencia. This may look like a classroom of just some ordinary graduate students. Unidimensional. But they're actually active duty military public affairs officers. The School of Journalism and Media Studies is partners with the Navy and Marine Corps on a master's degree that breaks from the two-year standard, taking just 10 months to complete. This is going to allow the public affairs officers to get in, get a quality education, improve his or her practice of public affairs and then move on to the next job. Learning from some of the world's best known scholars in public relations, all fully accredited by the Public Relations Society of America, these officers will transform from tactic-based practitioners to strategic communicators. Applying theory and empirical research to real-world problems, this program has become the Sea Services think tank for public relations. One of the key things that a public affairs officer gets here during the program is not training, is professionalism and education. How to think through the process of communicating to your target publics in a way that moves your communication program forward. Since 2005, more than 100 military public affairs officers have graduated with their master's degree from San Diego State University. Educated, strategic public affairs planners who are now qualified to counsel the nation's top military commanders. But this education isn't just limited to the classroom. Bring that view back. Some of the world's best experts in military and private industry public relations are brought in to meet face-to-face -face with the military cohort to share their experiences and their trade secrets. I mean, that's the goal, you know, to build a much broader group of people who have a much wider concept of the communication business who have a fundamental understanding of how it all fits together. Faculty from the School of Journalism and Media Studies opening their homes to work hand in hand with students, interpreting data and advancing research proposals. I think that this is building rapport, this is building professional relationships, and it's allowing us to see this data in, 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 a, in a really interesting way. And for a lucky few, that research is selected for presentation at the prestigious International Public Relations Research Conference in Miami. I think one of the biggest things was just the wealth of uh, academic knowledge that was surrounding everybody there. While many of the presenters are doctoral students and university professors, some of public relations' best-known scholars, on more than one occasion, it's military officers from SDSU's School of Journalism and Media Studies taking home the top prize. The School of Journalism and Media Studies offers our students an elite small school program on a beautiful campus in an amazing city. Your professors in JMS are globally famous and locally connected. We're constantly innovating pushing the envelope with new research projects on the cutting edge of professional media. So when you graduate from San Diego State School of Journalism and Media Studies, you will be ready for your future. I just hope the future will be ready for you. Go Aztecs!